guys, Warden Nerd here, back with another video. Today, we'll be looking at the mechanism I used to solve the treadmill, the rowing machine, the tire flip, and the slide figure. Let's get right into it. Before I start, however, there's two things I need to mention. Number one, shout out to the FLO expert. He's a channel that just started on YouTube, but he has great content, and he recently reacted to my video, the 510 point video. And although that's pretty old and I've made a few improvements, this is one of the improvements. And I think there was a very great review and it'll definitely help us at competition. The other thing is that if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you watch it because otherwise you might have no idea how this robot runs in an actual run. So with that, let's get into the mechanisms I used to solve it. So one of the big things I accomplished with this mission was the tire flip. And the tire flip has been hard for many teams probably because the flipping mechanism that you can use with a human hand is actually very hard to mimic. This is how our team flipped the tire. It is actually quite simple, although we did not flip the large tire. Instead, we opted to score the same 20 points by putting the slide figure onto the black tire. To flip the tire, we have a mechanism like this. It is a lever with an arm around it, which can be rotated by this worm gear right here. This can also rotate and this is used to solve the rowing machine. But for the tire flip, this is how it works. When the lever is placed down in this position, the slide figure, which is also loaded on the lever, is placed back here. And as you can see, I have this half beam here to introduce some slope. That way, the slide figure falls down when it's in this position. However, when it's up, you can't actually have it. Obviously, the slide figure is facing down, so it won't fall down. But once it's in this position, and is over the wheel and the slide figures on. Just by the robot simply moving forward, it flips the tire, which is a pretty cool mechanism if you ask me, because this pit arm can pivot upward, but there's a blockade here to stop it from pivoting down. And then the robot simply moves backward, and then it goes back into the circle to score the five points from the circle. If you haven't watched the video, again, I highly recommend you watch it to see this robot in action, instead of me just manually moving the robot. The other design, which is just a simple wheel for spinning the treadmill, has knob gears attaching to the dog gears on my robot, which spins 90 degrees to this gear, and then that, in turn, spins this wheel to complete the treadmill mission. This is also extremely fast, partly because I'm using a large gear, and also partly because knob gears are just fast in general. So, when the robot comes under the treadmill, it lines up like this. It's the perfect distance, so you get enough friction on it to spin it, but not enough to make it push up too hard. And then, you simply turn the gear, and as you can see, it the treadmill very fast, probably in under three seconds. And then at the same time, as you can see in my run, this lever lowers to complete the rowing machine. Let's see how it does that. I worked out the pin lengths, so when it's in the perfect place for the treadmill, it's also in the perfect place for the rowing machine. Using the same arm, this lowers and stabs one of the axles into one of the four holes of the rowing machine. And then all the robot has to do is simply back up and then just turn a slight bit. And this doesn't always make it into the small circle, which I need to work on. But it always does take you out of the large circle, which is the important thing for scoring points. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot. Credit to the FLO expert again for inspiration on this design. But the reason why this is so reliable is because to complete all these missions, all it has to do is simply drive in a straight line. And although it looks like a lot, I used to be intimidated by big attachments by other FLO teams as well. But in reality, I didn't intend to build this big. I just kind of went with my idea and eventually it got to the size it needed to be. I don't build things big on purpose, but this is what it needed to be in order to have such a reach for the rowing machine. And I don't think you should be intimidated either. Mechanisms can be working of all, can work no matter what size they are. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's a very reliable way to do the tire flip, which is hard for many teams, the rowing machine, the treadmill, and the slide figure. And I really hope you, again, I really hope you enjoyed. Signing off for now.